I think, um, I don't think we, it's not like we didn't play well. I think uh, we tried to play, but we played against a team who worked really hard and was well organized who, and make it really difficult for us. And uh, through the game, I think we was getting a really frustrated because there wasn't any space for us to play. And, um, and I think it's more about New England who make it really difficult for us. And yes, it was important to win because I believe that it's always good to get close to, uh, to Toronto, but I believe that Toronto are already the champions. I think all the other team, we're gonna fight for the second spot and, um, and Tor Toronto will, will win the league because I think you see it last night, they are quite really strong and, um, and I don't think anybody will catch them. Hi, Patrick. What does it say about your team, the ability to get this type of results in these type of games? I think um, winning these kind of games, you have to show quality. Um, you have to show um, a lot of desire. Um, I think today we, we didn't play our best football because of, of New England, but at the same time, I think, uh, you know, we wanted to win. We, we have a positive attitude. Um, we try to create chances. We try to play forward, and at that time, we can't, we can't do it. And, um, and at the end, we scored the goal, and, uh, and I think our, our strength, sorry, our strength is um, the players who came from the bench always brings some things to the team. And when you look at uh, in LA or you look at tonight, I think uh, when Jonathan came on, create more space for David. Carrie came on and bring his energy, the same with Jonathan. And um, we are where we are because we are a team and uh, people who came from the, brand, uh, from the bench always bring some things to the team and that is the strength. Patrick, you mentioned Jonathan, and obviously he scores that late goal. Um, it's the second big goal of the season, really, and it, it took him some time to really get involved with this team in his rookie year. How has he kind of grown as a player over these last few months to, to become the type of player that could come in late and score those types of goals? I think he's, he, he just needs and keep working hard in training. Um, you know, when you come in uh, as a rookie, you always need time to adapt to the quality of the MLS, the tempo of the MLS and try to understand the game better because of the players that you are surrounded by. And he's been working really well, he's been working really hard, and uh, all the good things that he's been doing on the field is because since the first day, he's always get his focus right. And uh, when you work hard and you work well, you get awarded. So it's good for him, but it's good for the team as well. Hi, Patrick, with the, these bringing up those players that come off the bench, um, including maybe even like Ugo and uh, Fred and Mikey as well, as the final nine games go on, wh what's the goal in trying to get them to be at the level where you're going to need them in the playoffs as well and not just to get results during the regular season? Yeah, the, the playoffs are still, uh, still a long way. Uh, what is important for us is, uh, and the message is clear to the players, is that the 26 players will make us achieve good things, not just the 11 who starting the game. It's important for players to understand that we are all together and we are all have the same kind of objective. And, um, and today I think everybody show it and that is really important because this is a positive message to send to the one who didn't come on because tonight it was about Jonathan, Carey and Hugo, but next time it can be some, some other players. So players starting or not starting is important to know that the 11 who start the game, they are the one representing 23, 24 players. Okay. Patrick, New England made some interesting lineup decisions. Lee Wynn on the bench, Fagundes on the bench, Farrell at left back. Were you surprised by the lineup they put out there and how did that affect what you guys were trying to do uh, out there against them? Yeah, I was, uh, I was surprised by the starting 11 and um, and I was, uh, I was worried because that was quite a, a compact physical team. So when I saw the, the starting 11, I knew that it would be really difficult for us to play, to play around. And uh, the game plan was, uh, was good. 
um, because they really frustrate us. It was difficult for us to play. And, um, and of course, uh, we managed to win the game. So that's just saying how tough the league is, but how tough and how good we can be at time because winning games when you don't play well, this is a good sign for a team. Hey, Patrick, congratulations. Uh, what was your reaction to uh, New England's goal that uh, Sean Johnson spilled there? It was a good goal for New England. I think the players was really smart to follow, and we were sleeping. We didn't follow, but it was a, it was a good goal from them. You, so, you know, uh, it's not a mistake from Sean. I think a mistake is part of, of the game. When you look at the way that Sean play against uh, LA, I will take that every day. Bonjour Patrick. Um, Bonjour. Félicitations pour, uh, pour la victoire aujourd'hui. Merci. Um, I would like to know what did you say to, you, to your team when it was half time because it was very complicated for you to, to move the uh, New England block. Yeah, the message was just to not run with the ball because because physically that was a really strong team and uh, we needed to be smart and move the ball a little bit more quicker from one side to the other side. Um, I think uh, we struggled um, in the last 30 yards because we were trying to make the individual difference and that was a mistake from us. If we needed to score that goal, we needed more combination around the box. And um, even that, I think it was really difficult for us. And um, so that's why I'm, uh, I'm really satisfied and really happy that we take the three points because it wasn't easy at all against uh, a really, really good side who are well organized. Hey, Patrick. Um, tactically speaking, uh, earlier in the season, you kind of said that uh, the wingers were kind of tracking back too far. Is that kind of the same thing? Because I kind of noticed today with Jack, he was playing really defensively and he wasn't kind of getting too far up the field. No, I think uh, what we needed is to be really compact because we didn't want them to play through the line. I think uh, when you play as a team, at time the forward has they have to defend really well. I think that is some of the part that we really improved because last year we were a little bit too open, and I think uh, as a team we concede less, and that is because up front we are working much better than we did last year.